random like banging and like drilling and things like that the people beside me like my neighbors are getting their roof done so you're gonna hear a lot of it but your girl has a schedule that she needs to fulfill so she's filming anyway so i'm sorry bang 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 bang, bang. i know <laughs> but i'm trying to talk loud so you can't hear it i'm hoping it's it just doesn't pick up i know it's not doing the drill right now so like i'm fine this is fine that what it's not even an air hammer it's got to the hammer bang, 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 bang. <laughs> really yeah go look out the window i do not no. want to do that oh my god shut up Imagine they stopped. They're like, okay, Jan, sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. I love you too. Thanks, Ryan. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with a review video for I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. And I think it's a very underrated book that a lot of people have not even heard about. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> this book follows Jazz Dent, who is the son of the most notorious serial killer in his town, Billy Dent. Billy had killed over 120 people before he was caught and put into jail. People have become very suspicious of Jazz and how alike he may actually be to his father. Jazz doesn't want to admit that he was being groomed to be Billy's protege and that he also has urges to kill other people. Now bodies are beginning to pile up in his hometown so Jazz decides that he is going to help the police officers discover who is behind these killings in order to clear the Dent family name once and for all. So as I said, I did not expect to like this book as much as I did. It was so freaking good. If you know me in real life, you know that I have this weird obsession with serial killers. I find them so fascinating and I just love to know everything about them. And so when I found this book and saw that the tagline was, what if the world's most notorious serial killer was your dad? I was like, I need it. In my life but I didn't really have high hopes going into it because it's like a YA book so I was like mm, a YA hasn't really been my thing for a while now but you know serial killers I might as well give it a chance and like I am so happy that I did honestly the entire time I was reading this book I was getting like serious Dexter vibes for like the young adult group and I was living for it I loved all the characters in the book Jazz was such a complex character. It was really interesting seeing inside of his head and how he was trying to control his urges and let himself know that like everybody is a human and everybody's important and like you shouldn't kill people. It was really interesting to see his whole thinking process throughout the story. There was definitely like a huge psychological aspect of the book that I really liked. It was really interesting to see inside the head of a serial killer because half the time when he's trying to solve the case it's him trying to think like a serial killer like his dad and it was just really interesting to be able to see where he was coming from and being like oh so this is probably what my dad was thinking so this is what's gonna happen next with this serial killer it was like really cool howie was jazz's best friend and he is 100 percent my favorite character he was so funny he was like the perfect comic relief for the book because there's a lot of like death and gore in the book and then howie would be there and just like throw in a one-liner and you were just like yes this is what I live for. Every single scene that Howie was in was so light-hearted and funny and I definitely appreciate him as a character and he was the most loyal friend to Jazz ever. Like everybody's turning on him because like he's the son of a serial killer. And Howie's just like, my man, you can't be a serial killer because like I'm not dead, so. Connie was Jazz's girlfriend. She was always supportive and there for Jazz, especially when he was second-guessing himself about controlling his urges and things like that. She was always there to be like, no, like you're not your father, you're your own person, don't worry. She's a very appreciated character in my book. I also really enjoyed Jazz's grandma. She's on like the brink of losing her mind due to Alzheimer's. And, and like I know that's not funny but the way that it's written in this book was so funny so she was also like another comic relief kind of thing I think was why she was thrown in there. But she was great. I thought she was so funny even though like she's not supposed to be. It was was a good inclusion. I really liked the scenes where we got to meet Billy and he's in jail so Jazz goes to visit him. It's really interesting to see inside his head and how he manipulated everybody around him and the things that he was thinking was so fascinating to me. I just, I love serial killers and the way that their minds work. I know that's probably really weird, but I just find it so fascinating. The book was extremely fast paced. I read it in under 24 hours because I needed to know what was gonna happen. There were so many cliffhangers at the end of the chapters that I just like needed to know what happened next. And I couldn't put the book down, so I spent a very sleepless night trying to finish this book because I needed to know. There were so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming at all. Which is one of the things that I love about 
thriller books, if I can't see the plot twist coming, it's probably going to be like a 4.5 or 5 star book for me because I can call the ending of books like no tomorrow and it drives me insane. So whenever I can't, it's probably going to be one of my favorite books. I thought I knew who the killer was like 10 different times and I was completely wrong with who it was. The person who it ended up being was like not even on my radar. So like, good for you, Barry. If you have a weak stomach, I would say go into the book with caution. There are a couple of like graphic scenes that are kind of gory and kind of really gross. If you're like not into that stuff, personally, like I've gotten a lot better when it comes to gory stuff, depending on what it is. So I was okay with it, but some people I can definitely see would find this book like gross. I think that there was a good mixture of humor and like mystery elements and like killing in the book. It was very balanced in my opinion so that was good because sometimes it's not a good balance and you're just like <sighs> but this this author did a very good job and I really enjoyed his writing style. I It was like really choppy but like it worked for the way the story was written. It's really weird because like you don't think that you would be laughing out loud in a book about serial killers. But I was and I don't know if that makes me like weird or like if I should be like propsing the author for being able to balance the dark and the light at the same time. I'm not sure, but I love this book. I was impressed. I'm very excited to pick up the second book in the trilogy. I have to find it because like it took me forever to find this book, but I will find that book. And then there's a third book and I'm so excited about it. Overall, I definitely think that this is an underrated book. And if you haven't picked it up, highly suggest it. Five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. But you know, I have a weird obsession with serial killers, so maybe that's why. Alright guys, so that was my review for I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. 5 out of 5 stars, so freaking good. I hope you guys pick it up and enjoy it as much as I did. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!